Hello and welcome to my video. You may know me as SS Dragon Grog or you can call me Dragon Thunder. You can call me any of those, I will accept. This is a video to show how to apply my mod. If you follow every step here, it should work. First, we just need to extract the file like this and you will have the folder right here. Now, you don't need to worry about the backup folder because this is only if you want to bring the original files back. The folder that actually matters to you is the Left 4 Dead 2 folder and this is the one we will take into the game's directory. Now let's keep this window right on the left right here and let's open Steam. Now in Steam you need to look for your game list and find Left 4 Dead 2, right click on it. After right clicking properties, on properties you're going to look for local files and the browse button over there. After clicking browse, you will be directed to the games folder and now we can put the games folder right on the other side of the previews folder we have just opened and you're going to bring the Left 4 Dead 2 folder into the games folder. It will ask you to override a few files, it's okay, you just gotta press yes because this will, you know, this will override all the songs that I have mod, so don't worry about pressing yes here. Okay, next step is inside the game, so we gotta open the game now. When opening the game, you're going for options, then you're going for keyboard slash mouse. Here you're going to find the Allo Developer Console. You gotta make sure this is enabled because this is a very important step of this tutorial. Now you just go back to the main menu and for me it's the apostrophe key that opens the console but uh, if apostrophe doesn't work with you try the tiled key. If none of those works I recommend you checking the internet because th those are the only keys I know. So. Uh, in a way or another, you gotta open developer console now. Now you gotta type snd underscore update audio cache and press enter. You can also copy this code from the text file. This is a very important step because if you fail doing it so, my song will be something like this. If you followed every step I showed here, you'll see on the log that it will say a few files have been updated and this means my files will now work normally and they will look just like this. And this is the end of the video, I will stop it here and explain why I had to upload this mod like this in the description or in the text file provided with my mod. I will do like this because people may think it's difficult to apply my mod if the video is too long, so I want to make this video as short as possible. Thank you for downloading my mod, makes me happy, I hope you have fun with it and I see you guys killing zombies out there.